If you have two 4K 120Hz monitors or displays and you want to be able to send a full signal over to them with HDMI 2.1, you probably look on the market and find out that you don't see too many splitters. And on the other hand, if you have two gaming consoles like the Xbox Series X and the PS5 and you want to be able to do gaming at 120Hz with HDMI 2.1 cables, you're also probably running into a problem. Well today, that problem goes away thanks to the BK22. Now this is a product from O-Ray that allows you to have two inputs and two outputs that all supports HDMI 2.1 and it will support 4K 120 Hertz. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what it's all about. So sit back and relax and let's get started. In the box, you're gonna get a power supply, a user's manual, and you're gonna get the BK22. And keep in mind that the HDMI cables are sold separately. On the front of it, there is an indicator that lets you know that it's powered up. And you can see input one. And if you press this button, it'll move over to the second input. And then there's two outputs that can go over to two monitors or displays. Plus there's a USB port for troubleshooting and firmware updates. Not only does it support up to 4K at 120 Hertz, it also supports different video formats and audio formats. I'm talking 8K up to 60 Hertz, it does the 1080p to 720p, and video profiles like HDR, HDR10, and HDR10+. And for audio, it's going to support your Adobe Digital AC3, DTS 7.1, DTS True HD, just to name a few. And keep in mind, whatever you plug into it goes out to both monitors. In addition to that, if you have a 120Hz monitor and a 60Hz monitor, whenever you plug them in, it's going to drop down to 60Hz. To give you guys an example of how it works, I have the Samsung QN85, which is a 120 Hz television that has one HDMI 2.1 input. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and plug in the HDMI cable on the back of the television where it's labeled gaming. And for source number one, I'm gonna be using the PS5, as you can see right here on the back of it. We're just gonna go ahead and plug in the HDMI cable right there. Unfortunately, I don't have the Xbox Series X, but today I'm gonna to use the Xbox Series S, which actually has the HDMI 2.1 output that can go all the way up to 440p using the proper cable. So on the back of it, we're just gonna go ahead and plug it right in where it says HDMI output. And this is what it looks like with everything hooks up. I have input one going over to the PS5. I have input two going over to the Xbox Series S and I have the output going over to the Samsung QN85A. First thing we're gonna look at is the PS5 and let's just see if it's gonna get 120 hertz on this television. If you go into settings and go down here where it says screen and video, you can see all the different setups here. And uh, HDR is supported, you can adjust your HDR. And if you go up here to where it says video output information, you can see that it is reading 3840 by 2160 at 120 hertz. It's going to support the HDCP 2.3 for copyright protection, so all your games should work with no problems. All you have to do is hit the switch on the front, and then it will switch over to the other input, so now we can show the Xbox. So what we're going to do is go over here to Settings, TV and Display, and I will tell you that the Xbox Series S that I'm connected to will only support up to 440p for games. However, if I go ahead and press this and go over to 4K, even though it doesn't support it, I still have the option to go up to 120 hertz thanks to the switcher and the HDMI 2.1 cable. And if you go over to TV details, you can see right here that it will support this 120 hertz television. However, games will only max out at 1440 at 120 hertz. And below, if you watch in movies or TV, it's only gonna do up to 60 hertz. And just in case you wonder, here's the video modes that are available for the Xbox. You can see I can do auto low latency, I can do variable refresh rate, HDR10, and everything that you need to get your system up and running. One thing I'll tell you guys, after playing games with it, I didn't notice any input lag, but let's put it to the test. Now, I will tell you that I only have a 60 hertz tester, but let's go ahead and try it out. For the first test, I had a HDMI cable going directly to the television with it in gaming mode, and I was getting about 9.4 milliseconds response time. Next, I plugged in two HDMI cables looping through the BK22, and I was able to get the same 9.4. 
And what this tells me is that you guys are more likely not to notice any type of difference in your gaming when using the BK22. Even though it has a switch to toggle through the inputs, I want to try to see if the CSC works. And once I turned off the Xbox, it automatically switched to the PlayStation, which was pretty interesting to me and I consider it a plus. Also, I want to show you guys one more demonstration showing you if you had the PlayStation 5, you can plug into input one. If you have the Xbox, you can plug into input two, and then you can plug it into any type of gaming monitor that has HDMI 2.1 that supports 120 Hertz at 4K, and you can plug it into a 4K television with HDMI 2.1. So after watching this video, you guys should now have a better understanding if the BK22 is gonna be the solution for you. Thanks all for watching, and you have yourself a great day. For more solutions like this, be sure to check out oray.com where you'll find the latest switchers, converters, and accessories.